Hey, before we start, I just wanted to let you know this episode is brought to you by Men's Map. Go here to find it. Cool. We're going. Oh, we're uh, we're recording a podcast now. All right, hold on, I'm busy. Okay. Did, did Sanford text? Or? <laughs> no. Uh, do you want to do you want to light the fire? Sure. Cool. What kind of alcohol is that? Spicy purple alcohol. Okay. Ninety-one percent. Cool. Have you seen this thing before? Yeah, you showed me. Okay. But you didn't light it when you showed. Uh, when you sh- wait, wait, we're there. Now it's lit. Cool. Well, I appreciate you doing this. It's, uh, yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Do you? What? Do you? Yeah, I do. I've been, ner- that, I've been. I've been. I've been. Everybody. I know, but I've been nervous about this one. <laughs> I was why? like, because you gave me the cameras and stuff, and you have oh, encouraged me to do that's this. Why? So, yeah. Because I gave you cameras. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just nervous to. I, I feel like I've been thinking about this one for a long time. What do you imagine it to be? Uh, do I make fun of you a lot? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's why I'm so nervous. Why <laughs> you make fun of me all the time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I usually talk about like the why of doing art and all this stuff, and I guess it's like. Have you uh, figured it out yet? No. Well, sort of. Yeah. I mean, you've, how many interviews have you done? Twenty-seven. And you haven't figured it out yet. I have a better idea. For what sure. is it? Um, you do it because you like it. You know, it's like finding love in. Okay. You know, the creative process, not necessarily the final product. But. <laughs> That's going to me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Danger. Um, yeah, and I guess the reason I wanted to talk to you, because um, I meet so many people who want what you have. You know, you have a version of fame, a version of some amount of wealth, you know? Okay. But. but. Like, yeah, no, but. But it's yeah. like, uh, you know, you still have to, like, um, brush your teeth and you still have to drive to work. <laughs> and, like, it's not like once you have all those things, your life is suddenly figured out, you know? Right, um, you have to figure out how to not brush your teeth for it to be figured out. What? <laughs> Wait, brushing your teeth makes means that someone hasn't figured out their life? or No, no, it's that, like, there are things in your life that no matter what, it's uh-huh. like, you still have to brush your teeth, you still have to change your kids' diapers, you still have to, like, you know, be yeah. a person, right? And, like, right. Y- you know, like, I, I-, I think for artists... You know, no matter how famous you are, the act of being an artist is the same, even if you're really famous or a complete beginner. Like, you're in a room by yourself coming up with ideas, you know, either painting or making a movie or something. It's just the the difference of scale, you know? But, like, being in your studio is, like, the same as everyone else, right? It's like, you know, um, like, it doesn't change with the amount of scale that you have. And I I would, and I guess the reason Kind of, sometimes. It, it does. does. It, it, you can have people help you, and it could be more efficient because you're not doing all of the stuff that is just kind of like the daily grunt work. Yeah, right? but... You, you can have people help, so you could focus on the creative parts. But but the ideas remain the same. It's like, you're just like, you're sharing the same ideas you'd be, you were sharing at the beginning, just at like a larger scale, right? Um, like, there was something Elon Musk said, it's like, the science he was doing at like 21 was the same science he was doing. He's doing now, you know. It's just at oh, a much, right. much larger scale. I'm gonna keep checking these, yeah. by the way, because they reset. Okay. So. How do I look? You look good. <laughs> Handsome. Hey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like I, I meet so many successful people, and it's like, okay, you know, not every successful like person I meet has uh, feels like they're they don't want anything else, like. You know, they've they things have, get boring. Yeah, things get boring. Right? As soon as you have it, it's boring. Yeah, yeah. And I, I again, I'm just like ta- I'm trying to talk to as many people that have a version of a dream. And it's like, how do you continue to find meaning in your life beyond that? Like the people that are listening to this, they might feel like you are beyond the idea of you know feeling fulfilled. Like, oh, you're completely fulfilled. You have everything you'd ever want. But it's not. That's obviously not the case, right? No, well, what I want is the act of being creative. Yeah, yeah. So it's not what that will bring me. It's the actual act of being creative. Which never, it it never ends. Right. Right. It's like, you know, pursuing something that's beyond, like, 
making your magnum opus, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, like, it, it's way more about the process than it is about the actual, um, ex- like, final product of the thing, you know? Right. Um, and for me, I think it's like, I, I can struggle with nihilism in a sense to where, like, if it's, like, if it's not about the final product, then what's the point of it all, you know? It's like, it really fundamentally from what I can tell it's about how much you actually enjoy the process that's right. that's where you get all the value from it's not the but you struggle with actually enjoying the process yeah yeah I think everyone does to a degree you know it's like they get distracted by you know I, I like I was talking to Morgan about this and he was teasing me it's like I was asking these questions and he was like you just do it man you just like you just do it you just find meaning in the in the process you know there's yeah. no there's no question well right? it depends on how much freedom you have in the process yeah like, if you don't have freedom to choose your process, then you might not enjoy the process. Um, you know, I identified pretty early on that I didn't like doing creative things the way someone told me to do it. Yeah. I had to do it my way, even if it was wrong. Right. Um, and that freedom to do it wrong is what I enjoy. Yeah. Because I can explore. Right. Exploring the unknown is really what's fun. Yeah. Because there's risk, you know, there's adrenaline, you come up with a solution, and that's exciting. But yeah. if some other one, some other person tells you their solution to it, and now you have to go execute it, that's not fun. It's tedious, right? Yeah. And, I mean, I like, my impulse after, like, being around you or, you know, like Marco or Ahmed or any of those guys is to try and, like, find it like, do a, something like this, this podcast, in there in, like, a different way. Like, make it more organized like why um just because oh it'd be more successful you know it's like if it was organized no if it were if i guess if we're more organized if it were like like what like more professional you know get all that crap off the floor yeah get all the crap off the floor i don't think that would make it more successful why no no i'm saying it wouldn't but i think it's oh it's like that i'm saying that that impulse to wait to you know oh try to to make it perfect before you start exactly yeah it's like okay you know, I constantly have that impulse, and part of the presentation of this entire thing is to make it kind of shitty, you know? It's, like, kind of crusty and rusty, you know? Yeah. Like, there's stains on the... Crusty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, whose coffee is this? I could see rings. Uh, I think that was... It might have been Tad. Tad? Okay. No, uh, Zach, sorry. Zach? Zach, Zach <laughs> you keep doing that. I, I keep mixing them up. I'm sorry if you're listening to this, <laughs> Tad and Zach. Um... Uh, you're, you're both individuals, <laughs> and I like you both. But you're both an individual. <laughs> yeah, we're all individuals. We're yeah. all unique. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like a, um, like I feel like people look at you as like this, you know, God. Some, God. Yeah, seriously. I mean, people <laughs> no, come are on. people are like nervous to talk to you. you know? uh, yeah, no. And it's it's like the goal of this is to just like talk to you in the way I would talk to you without. You know, like there's no uh, expectations. There's just like you, you know. talk to me like all day long. Yeah, yeah, and, I know. And like you're right. you're like nervous to talk to me. I know, but but it's recorded, <laughs> and this again, this time it's recorded. It's like yeah, but you can delete it if you want it. I don't know. I try not to. Okay. So. Um, but I, I well, uh, trying to. I mean, well, what, what I mean, talking to you in the way that like, um, you know, so other people can see how you actually are, not when you're like trying to teach them how to draw mm-hmm. or something. You know. Okay. It's like, what do you care about beyond just the art, you know? It's like the freedom. Should I, should I make some dirty jokes or something? Yeah, 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 you should say some... I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how far I could go on this thing yet, you know? Well, I, yeah. I know I, I've cussed before, but I haven't made any horrible jokes yet. What's, so. what's the... Can you list all the cuss words that you've said? Probably, I've said fuck a few times. What else? Um... I don't know if I've said cunt. Yeah, what else? <laughs> I, just, I, just list them. Um, shit... <laughs> bitch <laughs> I um, want to see the transcript I use like four cuss words but okay. a lot <laughs> it's yeah. like fuck shit bitch yeah and, and cunt cunt <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> okay uh, okay uh, talk about cum a lot <laughs> oh really yeah yeah you, you talk about cum on all the, the podcast time. Yeah. all the time yeah I'm joking and, uh, oh okay I, I believed you man but, but I was just I was gonna, I was like who, with who I'm gonna leave this in but, yeah I know um, Morgan <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he would. <laughs> gonna ruin his fine art career. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna ruin mine. Yeah. Um, well, I don't have a fine art career, but yeah. you're gonna ruin it. You're ruin Broco. But 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's like, to me, it seems like you're trying to get to a life where you just don't care. Like, you're, you're doing like <laughs> real art. It's like, like move like do the people mentality or you're just like yes. doing crazy nonsense I want to do the like the dick milking factory type of stuff yeah. or not that I want to be brave enough to do that right. that's like I don't want to actually do it you know a yeah. dick milking factory painting right but the like there your is, version of that right yeah but there like I totally respect the bravery yeah to right. do that and just release it in a scene and like here you go guys yeah okay. here <laughs> and it's completely insane. Like, I mean, it's like I don't like it as art, but as like a statement, it's like really actually pretty meaningful. And well, really, it's pure, really deep too. He like, doesn't. He's doing it for himself. He's not doing it for anybody else. Yeah. It's like, yeah. God, I mean, he did it for like he did the dailies for like he did like that for like ten years. 20, like I for a ridiculous amount of time before anyone paid attention yeah, yeah. to him. I mean, <laughs> like it was just like an exercise and just consistency, and then it turned into. He was like so. thirteen or fourteen years. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, um, yeah that's pretty. It's pretty crazy. Um, and a dedication to just like wacky shiz, like just him being him by himself is like right. re- really admirable, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thing I'm starting to believe is like if you pursue your authentic self in a, in like a really meaningful way, that's going to be a lot better for you in your career than just like following other people's example, you know. Like if right, you, if you can figure out your own path, especially now with the internet, you can become. A millionaire, you can have the following, you can have the freedom you want without necessarily giving up. It's not even about that, though. If if you if you stop trying to figure out what other people want or what people will think of your art when you put it on Instagram, yeah, um, and you do it out of fear, you enjoy it less. Yeah, right. That's the thing that matters more to me. It's yeah. Like, if I'm not enjoying it, then it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Right. So if I want to do, you know, a dick milking factory, yeah, you totally, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I want to be be at the place where I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. And like the thought of what are people gonna think doesn't even cross my mind. Yeah. Right. That's the ideal. Yeah. Um. Well, it, but it does to but a it degree. Does. Yeah. It of, does. of course yeah, it does. Yeah, right. I'm yeah, saying right. people's better than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just a better person. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Well, and it's like, I, I'm curious how you actually get there, you know? Because, I, I mean, like, you've achieved your own version of that by, you know... Not really. What, I do, mean, what do you mean? Like, like how? I, I mean, there are different levels to it. It's like, you know, um, you don't teach at a school. You teach at your... You created your own school. It's like, you know... Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, like, you do these wacky... Like, you were a fine artist, and you are doing these... And then you went to just doing wacky fart jokes and a, you know, in <laughs> videos. It's like, yeah, you know, okay, yeah, a little, I, I, a little I think bit that's of that. a little, like, it's along the same vein, you know. Right? Yeah, vein. but <laughs> what <laughs> vein? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, but the the fart episode. It was the put. That was the butt episode. Yeah. Didn't. Come. <laughs> it didn't come without uh, a lot of hesitation. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, right. we sound like little teenagers right now, man. Well, it didn't I, come. I, I, oh, oh <laughs> veins. God damn it, dude. But I, I think. Well, this is how uh, you actually talk. This is like not, not draftsman stand. Not really. What? <laughs> That's how you talk with. No, me, I right? don't. Yeah. Never. Yeah, ever. But. Um, I don't know, but but it's like it was really exciting to you, probably, and you know people like it. And it's like I think that did a lot for your. It was more fun to do yeah. it like that. Yeah, yeah. Rather than to just focus on the muscles and the bones and. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like anatomy is dry. <laughs> oh my god like <laughs> okay what percentage of the English like dictionary it can be dirty. can be yeah 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 most of it probably yeah <laughs> uh, okay um no anatomy is really dry and it it's 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 boring yeah unless yeah. you just Make it more accessible, right? You just extract whatever possible fun thing you can put into it. Yeah. And you just do it. I don't know. That's... But anyway, there was still... There was a lot of hesitation. You know, like... Especially the fart joke thing. Right. And, uh... 
but every once in a while I'd maybe drink a little too much coffee and yeah. just be like, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, just, 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 just get yeah. it. Just, yeah. just push the publish button. We're all gonna die. Or, you know, and then, and then you're just like, whatever. And you know what? Let's make an even worse one. Yeah. For right. premium, let's put 400% more fart jokes. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Well, but, but every time you did it, it didn't, not, nothing happened, right? People liked it more, actually, right? Did it? I don't know. I, um, I... Did, did, did you get pushback at all, or...? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but... Did it bum you out? No. No, that one I don't remember really bumming me out. Yeah. Um... It annoyed me a little bit when it came from people I know. Right, it did. And I was like... Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah, it's a fucking fart joke. Yeah, I don't know. I, again, for, I, I guess part of this whole van trip for me has been like increasing my scale just to be like, ah, this, none of this fucking matters. Like, I don't want to call it nihilism, but it's like, there's nothing that I can do or say that's so bad to where it's going to destroy anyone's lives. You know? It's like, at the very, like, the world is so big, right? It's like no one cares about your fart jokes or are you doing hey a guys, dick milking. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I just wanted to take a second to say this episode is sponsored by Men's Map. It's all Metal Dory's painting course that he released last year where he goes through his step-by-step -step process for teaching you guys how to digitally paint. He starts with basic cubes and then moves on to more complex shapes like portraits and figures. And then he shows you how to use those for things like concept art and complex illustrations. He teaches his entire curriculum for what he'd be teaching at a real college like Art Center or Cal Arts or something, but at a fraction of the cost. So if you were to go to Art Center, you'd be spending three or four thousand dollars on a class, but if you take it with Ahmed, you get to learn everything that he would teach inside the actual class environment. Which to me is way better because one, you get to keep the actual access to the class after you finish the course, whereas with a college, after the end of the 10 weeks or 15 weeks or whatever, you don't get to rewatch the episodes. It just it just disappears, you know? And it also costs 10 times as much. When it comes to trying to promote things and sponsors for this podcast, I really only want to try and promote things that I believe in. And I think Ahmed Aldori is one of my favorite artists and teachers, and he's been pretty helpful to me in my development as an artist. I think that his painting course is one of the best ones out there, and I hope you guys check it out. Anti-establishment, you know? Um, it's anti... Fear. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It's, it's anti-uncomfortable. Like, I mean, my my opinion of like the fine art industry is that it's not fine art. It's like illustration, fundamentally. You know, it's like somebody... What? Yeah. What do you mean? Like for, like, um, I'm trying to be careful in the way I say this. Yeah. But, what do you mean? I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? Like, you know, if you're an artist from the 1500s and you're paint paint Jesus, is that fine art? You know, it's like you wouldn't have painted Jesus anyways. You know, you're just, you know, using a skill that you have to paint God, you know, paint mm. Jesus or whatever. You know. Sure. Yeah. That that's that is illustration. Um, but it, it it's like. Is there an overlap? I like, like, what it's is like fine fruits art? and vegetables. It's like like yeah. these aren't this or that. Like is fine art and illustration like a this or that? Is a clear clear line there, between there the two? There is overlap for sure. Yeah. But, but so it's like, I think real real fine art is something that's always something super risky. I mean, at least to me, like it's riskier than just like painting something that you know somebody will buy. Like, um, you know, I, 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 at least in terms of the fine art that I would I like and the stuff that I would actually hang up on my walls, it's not just like something that's a decorative piece of artwork. It means something more than just, like, this is a cool portrait, or this is a cool nude, or, or this is a cool painting, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Like, um, like for, for Morgan, I was talking to him, and he says a big part of his message when he does fine art paintings is to uplift people, you know? And it's harder to do that without, you know, being really good at painting, you know? Um, right. And sure, he's in the master's. It's harder master. to do that, yeah, but... Yeah. yeah. Um, you still can, but... Yeah. Um, it's like, the more literal you can communicate, like, a happy scene, the probably more people will resonate with it. And, right. You, know. you could be more consistent with yeah. it as well, if you yeah. actually have skill. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that that's fine art, you know, but... Why is it not, like, uh, well, are I, you I trying get, to get a definition? Um, I don't know. Does it matter? I, I guess I'm trying to get an idea of, like... Um, I meet a lot of people who, to me, are stuck, you know? It's like they're, uh -huh. they're stuck creatively, and they're, like, stuck in a definition of what art is or something, you know? Like someone else's definition of it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, what does it mean to be a concept artist? I think the word concept art has... Well, it's whatever your, the company hires you to do. 
Yeah, yeah, but I, I think concept, <laughs> that's your definition. You know, that that's your job as a concept artist. But a concept art to me is it's be- become this really weird term that people throw around. It's just like a, you know, concept art could be map painting or the character design or yeah. land. You know, it could it could be a number of different things. But yeah, it's like so what? Um, like people define what concept art is and then treat like that treat it like there's only one definition of concept art you know when it's just oh. literally painting cool stuff you know or coming up with cool ideas oh, okay. like um, you, you know it's like it, it, it's a relatively new job in the past like 20 25 years or something like pretty much brand new but it's still even that has become something that's like part of the establishment and part of the mainstream you know yeah People, t- I don't know, people tend to attach, they, they want to attach very specific definitions to broad things. Yeah. Um, so, and they want it to be whatever it is that they do. Yeah. Right? Right. Um, like with, with NFTs. Yeah. Right. It's like NFTs are just JPEGs. Yeah. But right. not really. It's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. But. And then concept art is... <clears throat> this one specific thing that I want to do, but yeah. no, not really. Right. It, I mean, it could be applied it, to pretty much everything. Like, yeah. Um, I, so, I think, I mean, people have to simplify things, I think. Yeah. I mean, they have to abstract, like, what is art? Like, what is... Because they need, it like, a direction to go down. But um, it's strange to me that art is supposed to be this, like, uh, free-flowing thing where people are can do and say literally whatever they want. But then you have people telling you, oh, you have to get an art degree. You know, you have to go... Who on, says that? Like conventional wisdom, it's like oh, like um, well, or is it the same people though? Um, sometimes. I mean, it's like, um, I mean, I'm curious if the anti-art degree people and the pro-art degree people, like, which 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 is a bigger population? You know, uh, probably the pro-art degree people, right? I don't know. That's tough. Um. Are you talking about out of the relevant people no, that just are hiring and popula- doing, population. or just like people, Over- those people walking out that yeah, yeah. might not have anything to do with like the art industry? Or yeah, yeah, like you know, like if you were just to ask a, like fifty random oh, people. But why the does street, that matter? Because um, I think people are products of their own environment, and if the average so if is your family, yeah, it's like the, if the average is that, then people are telling you the wrong thing. You know, at least in my opinion, um, it's like. Um, that, that, that's why yeah. it matters. It's like you, yeah, you, you okay. Can't. Well, then most people are pro art degree. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, and it's like um, when it comes to that kind of stuff, uh, I think art degrees are generally incorrect. It's again, art is meant to be to me something that's not meant to cause anxiety. It's not meant to be. There's no rule set to becoming a becoming an artist necessarily. Mm-hmm. Um, you can do it in whatever way works for you. But the fact that there is conventional wisdom on this stuff is. Um, it, it seems counterproductive to me. You know? I think the problem isn't that you know either art degrees are good or bad. It's just that like the actual programs to get your degree are not set up in a way that actually matters. Yeah. The degree structure, like the system, is flawed. Yeah. The degree idea is not bad. Yeah. Like I think it's totally okay to have a system of like certification where pe- people who are hiring you could get a clear picture of your skill set and your experience yeah. from you know a series of degrees you've you've received yeah. even in art right i think it's totally fine it's just that the like the the current systems are really messed up like, <laughs> yeah, they I mean, just don't teach for, art so for you, profit too you mean. get all these degrees that don't actually mean skill yeah. so it's like well these degrees are not real. Yeah. They don't mean anything. Yeah. And that's what makes a lot of people anti-degree. Yeah. But, I don't know, I'm not anti-degree, I'm just anti-bad well, like, system I, I, of I, degrees. I, I guess I'm not anti-degree either, but I'm anti hundreds of shitty education. Student, student debt, you know. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's pretty shitty. That's, a, that's pretty awful. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I, it, it's, it's pretty scary to me how common the question is of, like, should I go to art school, you know? Like just being around Proco or, you know, Watts or you know wherever. It's well, like, the know, answer to that is which one? Yeah, yeah, but it's like but, uh, I don't know. Or it, the follow-up question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like it, I mean, there's a list of follow-up questions. It's yeah. Like, do you have the money? Can your parents afford it? You, you know, it's like, um, where are you from? Like, what kind of art do you like to do? And 
Yeah. It's like what city yeah. are you gonna go to? Right. What do you what do you want to do for a little you know, it's like Yeah, it matters a lot. Yeah, it doesn't it, that's actually you know, those are the most important questions. Yeah. Know? It changes from person to person greatly, but Yeah. Uh, I actually advised someone to get a pointless degree recently. Really? Yeah. No, like yeah. a like a liberal arts degree or like a No, it um it was um, it was a guy from God. I forget what what country, but it, it's like uh, I forgot what country. It, it's some Eastern European country, <laughs> um, and he. But it's a country where like nobody there really. The arts is just not. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. And he needs to just get out. Yeah. Because he's really into art. He wants to be an artist. So I told him just get a scholarship to whatever college will accept you in New York. Yeah. Just because he's really good. He can get a scholarship. Yeah. Um, and go ahead, just go through it, get yeah. your degree, but that doesn't matter. Right. Use it's that as an opportunity. Card, right? Yeah. To, yep. to live in New York, be around other artists, be in that, like, be, so, yeah. be in that community. Yeah. Right. Like, and then, you know, learn on your own. <laughs> well, I, and I guess that that's the way a degree is supposed to be used, as a, t- as a stepping stone to the thing you actually want to be doing. You know? mm-hmm. It's like a, a tool to use to actually be around an environment where you can actually move forward from there, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I think in that case it's useful, but, um, like, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to make this entire conversation to be about whether degrees. you should degrees in art school. Yeah. I, I think we agree, yeah. <laughs> agree on degrees. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's like a, I found that I learned a lot more. I thought I became, I, I think I become a much better thinker and artist in general by doing these kind of road trips than I ever would by being in an actual art school, you know, um, like, like no, no matter which one I would be in, you know? mm-hmm. like I became a lot more of like, uh, confident in my own ideas. I've met a lot more people. Um, I've done a lot more things that I'm proud of doing this kind of stuff than I ever did. Yeah, right. Yeah, again, just... Well, the ideal is doing both. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Like, going to art school and... Well, no, not necessarily art school. Getting technical training and living life. I guess Because so. what you're talking about here is you're living life in order yeah. so, you, so you can have something to say with your art. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, important. Yeah. Yeah, but also, sure. technical skills are important, too. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's like... <laughs> I, but the, define art, right? It's like... What? I mean, I, I, <laughs> okay, how I, is that I, a response? No, to what no, I just but, said. but it's okay. Art, art to me is just another way of communicating ideas, right? It's like, but define God. <laughs> yeah, to, to define the meaning of life. Uh, no, but uh, I don't know. It's, it it like, seems like you're just changing the subject. I, I don't no, get I'm it. not. I'm saying that like I don't. I found that like maybe not for me being in technical training is actually the best use of my time. You know, it's like. I don't, I don't uh, you know, maybe yeah, it is, maybe sure, it is maybe not, I don't know. But but it's like, I feel like... You, You're talking about for professional artists. Yeah, if somebody, I don't want to be a professional artist. Yeah, so there you go, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if who are you talking to be about? Pro- a professional artist, don't listen to me. But if you want a, a fulfilling life... <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I feel like uh, people get caught up in this idea of being really, really good, which it's like, what does it mean to be good? Like, I don't know anymore, like... Good, good. What's good? What do you mean? Good at art? Or yeah, yeah, good at life. Good at art. Like, good at art. yeah. Right. When people say get good, it's like get good. Oh, that means that's usually mean. It means technically good. Yeah, yeah. But it's like what? Yeah. That's subjective too. It's like they're it, nah, they really good not as much. Or? No, that's not that subjective. It's I, a language. I, I, it's pretty clear. You you know when somebody can speak English well, right? Um, yeah, like you, yeah. You you speak them. You know. It's I mean, kind of subjective, but not really. What you I can mean, tell. I don't know. But what I mean is, like, when do you when do you switch from one? To, when can you actually start saying things? Like, when do you have the permission? To always. Actually? You always say things. Um, Kids are learning how to speak English, but they're always trying to say things. Yeah. You do both all the time. You yeah. don't just like do one for ten years and then yeah. switch to the other for ten years. Um, and I feel like people get into that mindset of like, oh, I I can't say anything until I've done fifty thousand Vanderpool eyes or something, you know? Yeah, well, that's a mistake. Yeah, that's definitely a mistake. Yeah, yeah. it's like absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tell people to do personal projects all the time. Yeah, stop doing homework. Yeah, right. So and much. It, it's like if you're taking classes at you know a school like <laughs> the Watts or Brainstorm. I mean. It's yeah. like, I think the ideal scenario is, like, 
two to four classes, and then the rest of the time you're yeah. doing your own shit. I took shit. four. Yeah. Right. yeah I, never, I never took more than four. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, which, I, again, I understand why people would want to take 12 or 7 or something, you know? Like, I took 7, and it was way too much for me. But. Some people did that because they had a limited amount of time. Like, they, yeah. they'd come here from somewhere else, but they had a year. And they're like, I just got to learn as much information as possible in a year. Yeah. And this was just like a... Right. You know... They had to do it. Right? 100% all in on technical yeah. knowledge. Right. No practice. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just cramming essentially. Yeah, cramming. It, it's not ideal. Um, so. Yeah. Well, I think it's uh, like. But it worked for some people. It, it does work for some it, people. It, it did work for some people. Yeah, for sure does. Um, but I guess like it, that's not the ideal way, you know. It's like. Um, I, I I I I mean I don't want to say anything like there's any concrete rules on how to become a good artist. Like mm -hmm. becoming somebody with something reasonable to say while also being technically good mm -hmm. um, but I think that um, on average it's probably wrong to just you know again just to balance and, and like and just the technical skill or just the life stuff you know it's pretty much um, I don't know the answer is always it depends on and th th there's always a balance to yeah um, the, the right ratio of, of what you what you're supposed to do yeah um, yeah, but it's both. It seems to me like you're just pushing towards the s stop it, everybody with the technical skill stuff and to a go degree. live life. Yeah, well, I, I, it's like, what's the point of. Why are you trying to push people to be so unbalanced towards that side? Um, I guess it's like, I, I don't know if I'm pushing people to be unbalanced necessarily, but. Well, it's that like, would be unbalanced if you just. I, I, I guess I'm saying people should do whatever they want. Like okay. for me, it's like I was. I felt like oh, before I can start saying things, I need to get, become a better artist. You know. Um, well, no. Who said that? I, I just had this idea in my head. Oh, you, know, you said like, that. Like, like my own self-esteem, <laughs> my own brain was like, "You right. fucking suck." You know. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, that's self-confidence. I mean, yeah, people yeah. with an accent have that same. Yeah. Idea, and they they maybe say less because right. they have an accent. Yeah. Right. In a group of people, they'll just speak more quiet because yeah. they're. Right. Self, you know, self-conscious well, about I, their accent. I, I mean, we talked about this too, but it's like I don't know if I'm an image man. I like making images. You know, I think I, I will make good images at some point in my life, but I'm, that's not my value that I bring to people. You know, like I think I'm a much better speaker than I am uh, painter for sure. Like, um, and being okay with that has been like it, it's been kind of a struggle actually. Like letting go of that. Uh, pressure on myself to become a professional painter. I don't know if it's the correct thing to do, but um, yeah, yeah, it's like a, is that what you want? To a degree, I mean, oh, then that's uh, correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're, cool. We figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Stop asking people. Yeah. You, you already got it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's um, to me, it seems like the key to all this stuff is just to. I guess just have faith in yourself and um, not think about whether you're doing the right or wrong thing and just and just do you know sometimes uh, do you think a lot do you write stuff down and like keep a journal and yeah because um, I forget stuff yeah <laughs> yeah um and take yeah, notes I, and I take keep, a lot of notes. Calendar and keep a calendar. Mm -hmm. Write stuff down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Always, every day, all the time. Is the clock on your microwave set to the right time? Yes. Okay. I have Actually, a family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess. So. Yeah, I'm not. I don't live on my own. Yeah. <laughs> my clock is not set to the right time. I know. I know. I was, <laughs> I was about to fix it. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's like, um, um, I think the way it works now is that there's so many famous teachers that it's hard to kind of feel like you're doing the right thing, you know? It's like when you see all these really amazing teachers always pulling on you, the people you really look up to, saying, like, you know, you have to do these studies, you have to, like, you know. Okay. Um, we'll stop being a bitch. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying for me, but it's like, oh, okay. you know, it's just like the... Uh, like um, I've talked to people about this idea of like the hustle culture where it's like you gotta work 12 hours a day for every your entire life you have to you know 
measure out your sleep schedule uh-huh. to, a, to a to a T, and it's like yeah, okay. I don't I don't think that's actually necessary at all to be successful, you know. Yeah, it's no. I think it's, it's kind of silly, actually. You know? Yeah. So um, you disagree with some people? Well, I, I think it's a. <laughs> I, I guess so. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So some people say things that you disagree with. Disagree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Well, I would say that. Uh, I, I and say, what? I would say that people, <laughs> when they expect that their lives have to be like that, mm-hmm. um, I, I would say more people do that kind of stuff when they probably shouldn't. Uh, yeah. Some people listen. Yeah, yeah. To whatever anyone says. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. But, well, so that's when thinking can matter. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Just doing might mean you just, like, hear something and you start doing that. Yeah. Right. So you, you do have to think sometimes. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's a lot better than nothing. But, I, I mean, I, I know when you were starting Proko, you were, you were working super hard, but at mm-hmm. a certain point it kind of, like, leveled out, right? Like. Yeah. Or, when like, I started a family. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, yeah, it's like you would stay up. I remember you told a story where you taught a class at Watts, stayed up all night to publish a video and then taught another class at Watts. In the morning, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and, like, I, I think that's part of the actual reality of trying to do great things is that you might actually have to do that sort of stuff at, at some point. Um, yeah. But, yeah, just drink some coffee. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Did you care about it? <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. It was fun. Yeah. I was miserable, but it was fun. Yeah, I mean, you you look, look back at it, look back at it fondly. I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, right. You're probably gonna do it again at some point, right? If yeah, when my kids are older, I'm not gonna do it if my yeah, yeah. I don't need to. Um, but no, there was a lot of drive. There was a lot like I knew I had a limited amount of time before I needed to get my shit together in order for me to have kids at a yeah. de- you know early enough eight you know yeah to play with them. And- yeah. yeah, where I was like, all right, I really want to have kids in, like, my early 30s. Yeah, right. And I'm 25. Holy shit, I got, like, yeah, you know, six five, years. six years. Yeah. Got to start running. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you got to do that stuff. Yeah. But the, it was the drive. The drive was there because I had a goal. Right. And I, I guess I'm, like, trying to identify where that comes from, you know? What, the drive? Yeah. yeah. Um, some of it's discipline. Um, like, I was pretty lucky that my parents pushed me as a kid, yeah. right? Because, so, you know, some people are become, you know, maybe grow up lazy and it's not their fault. Like, their parents maybe just don't make them do things. Yeah. And so they're not used to uh, doing things that they don't want to do. Yeah. Um, they're not used to making themselves be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a shame. That sucks. Yeah. Like, it's really nice to be able to... It's... Like, if you're used to being... Do, to, if you're used to doing that as a kid, it's easier to do that as an adult. Yeah. And that makes life more enjoyable because, like, doing difficult things is easier. Yeah. Right. It's not as difficult. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of nice. Well, and you'll choose to do that over the easy thing, too. Yeah. 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 It's easier to think about the future benefits of something versus the, like the exciting adrenaline right now yeah. of like doing drugs or something yeah right, <laughs> right? Yeah. like I could just drink I could I could get drunk right now or I could you know work on my video yeah or play video games like, or something yeah 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 right. I could escape reality and or whatever right yeah um yeah and I, I guess it's like a um I really believe that you could start that at any stage in your life too like you don't you could be 50 years old and also start to you know, really hustle at something and really execute well on it, you know? Mm-hmm. There, there's no, like, set time at which, you know, you can't, like, if you didn't start drawing when you're 12, it's not like you're a goner for becoming a professional artist or anything, or even enjoying art, you know? Um, yeah. Like, uh, like something like Proko, I think, started uh, as just a kind of a crazy project of, of among many rather than being the thing that was going to, like the one thing that was going to make your life yeah, way better. Yeah, it was the one I was most excited and most passionate about. Yeah. But, yeah, it was one of many. Yeah. Um, yeah, for, for me, I'm trying to cultivate that idea, you know, um, approach to failure, you know? It's like a... Mm. I wasn't trying to fail. Yeah, yeah I, I know, but th- yeah. there's a good chance that everything 
fails, you know, especially at that scale. I guess so, it's like, yeah. It was risky, right? Yeah. Um, like you said, you had people doubting you, right? Yeah. Um, like, um, you know, I, I really believe that somebody's own success is way more determined by their uh, aversion to failure rather than their actual technical skill or their preparation. You know, it's like how willing are they able to consistently like stand and potentially be like the biggest failure in the room you know um, and be and totally be okay with it um, and yeah flipped you look good yeah thank you yeah how's your back it's fine it's it's not in the right position. <laughs> I'm like trying not to hit my head. Yeah. Here, I gotta sit. Yeah, yeah. keep my back straight. Cynix, he, he's tall too. Yeah. yeah. So was he like yeah. this? Yeah. He was like, he was high, like, yeah, yeah. Was his back yeah, in pain yeah. afterwards? Yeah. What? It's, it's pretty worse, funny, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of. Funny. Oh, I think I just got a slouch a little. Yeah, it's kind of like hot ones, you know. It's like an uncomfortable interview yeah. show, you know. Um. Yeah. Sure. But. <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Except it's not your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's your mouth. Yeah, which is it's probably worse. What? The mouth. It, Why? The extre- I mean, <laughs> it, it, it gets much more extreme on hot ones than in the sketchy band. Yeah, I guess it gets more extreme. Yeah. <laughs> um, do a little sideways lean. I can do a fetal position. Sure. There you go. <gasps> nice. I'm surprised the sun's not setting yet. Hmm. Oh, no, wait, it's really early. What time is it? Mind. 3.45. Nice. Sick. Um, hmm. um, I, I, I mean, I guess it's like as you're also, I mean, I could cut this part out too, but it's like, well, um, I mean, like, like as penis. dick, I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. Yeah. That's what um, I did. But, but it's like, I, I mean, you're expanding to other things other than just Proco right now. I don't know if you want uh, to talk about sure, it publicly, okay. but whatever you want. Um, this is your podcast. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's sort of like four thousand people might listen to it or something. Cool. Yeah, but, no, but, but it's, it's like you're doing other things other than Proco. Yeah, yeah I'm like, gonna talk about it on other, you know, on my own platforms yeah. too. So yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, um, like like you're doing your own creative projects. It's not educational, right? Yeah. Um, and it's like, um. You know, I'm sure that's scary the, to go from. Oh yeah, like it's. I'm sure it's terrifying. Yeah. Like, um, how are you managing the fear? Let's just slap it. Yeah, just like stop being a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Then no, there's. It's like there's there's a bunch of fear, a bunch of hesitation, and then one day for some reason I just it's like oh today I'm brave. Yeah. Right. And, and then, now you just you use you that it. moment to start the process, and yeah. then it's like, oh well, now I can't back no, up. No, no, no choice. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm afraid of stopping. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that was me with the van thing. It's like there's a point of no return. Right. Like, I tell everyone about it. Yeah. Like I, I'm like f- six hours away, and I'm like, I guess I have to go to New York now. You know. Yeah. I have to go to the other side of the country. You know. Right. Um, you have no choice but to do it every day. You know. Mm-hmm. Like burning the boats. And, oh yeah. Yeah. Now it's like, uh, yeah. If if I were to stop. So many people would be pissed at me. Yeah, <laughs> lose money. You know, it's like yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh shit. Pe- you know? People's people oh, like people's livelihood. Yeah. Like like eight or ten people have quit their jobs. Yeah, right. To to do these things with me now. Right. Like they've quit their good jobs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they're yeah. They're well paying jobs. Really well paying jobs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, oh man. Ooh. Do, do you do you get enough sleep at night? Does this no. keep you up? Oh no, it's my daughter. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> my daughter's the. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's her fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she's well, but, she's but like it, fourteen it, months old. It, it's not the anxiety of all this no. stuff. No. I sleep well. No. Like if, um, if kids weren't involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No. I. I'm so mentally dead at night that I just collapse. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Strange to me. I don't know. Why? Like a. I. I think that fear is all relative. You know. It's like. Um. If you grow up doing really scary things, doing other scary things, it's like, oh yeah, of course. You know. Um. I I think that's part of the benefit of doing 
things out of your comfort zone is like something that might not even seem relevant when you're like 12 years old ends up being extremely relevant when you're in your 30s because you're like, yeah. you know, it was like a domino effect of like jumping off. Or you come back to it. What do you mean? Like you're scared of it when you're 12 and then you try to... Oh, no, you were doing something when you were 12. Oh, yeah. And then you're 30s and then, and then you go back to doing that thing again. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, I don't know. I think it's like... Uh, it, like everything you do in your life is always relevant you know I think it's part of the yeah. struggle with all this stuff is believing like that's true like why um, I don't know it's, it's easy to feel like the decisions you make in your life don't matter it's like you know mm. like you can either decide that getting up at 10am and eating Oreos for breakfast is the right way of <laughs> have living have you done that I have, have you have probably right no. Uh, okay, I, I'm embarrassed then. <laughs> you for sure have done that. I'm going to say... Well, I've done an equivalent, but not <laughs> yeah, Oreos. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I've had donuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no better. Yeah, yeah you right. know, I've had donuts for breakfast. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But, but you, you know, it's like a... Uh, it, it's like waking up at noon and eating donuts for breakfast is yeah. worse than waking up at 6 a.m. and having a green smoothie and going for a run. Right. <laughs> right. It's like, it, you know, but I meet people who are like, oh, no, it's the same, Right. It's like it doesn't matter. It's like, of course it matters. Like, you know, I, yeah. I like if you don't yeah. believe it matters, then you have nothing to do, right? It's like you have nowhere to go if you don't have a value of what's higher and lower on the like <laughs> checklist of things to do. You know? Yeah. Because um, you can do anything. You know, it's like you can wake up at one and you know one a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, you, you or could. which are you talking about? Because both are obnoxious. They're, they're both insane. <laughs> <laughs> they're both absurd, right? Yeah. It's like either, you know, it's like you could wake okay. up at one and then <laughs> eat In N Out and Oreos and Dr. Pepper and <laughs> like, you know, just watch Family Feud for 12 hours and then go to sleep for 12. You know, it's like, that's obviously not good for you, you know? Right. Um, and I think, you know, I think that's an extreme example, but we have our own versions of that in our own lives. You know? Oh, yeah, of course. We're all making, like, micro decisions. Micro mistakes. You know? Yeah. This is a mistake. Yeah, this yeah. Is, it's like, this mocha, is... how many calories? Yeah, no, there's a lot of sugar in this. No, but it's like, like, living like that decision matters it makes it matter more, you know? And it makes, like, that decision of, like, like, it, living like that decision matters unlocks the upper echelons of health to you if you stop drinking matcha drinks, you know? Whereas, like, you know, you deciding that reading a business book, it's like re reading a Gary Vee book versus like playing a video game, deciding that you have the potential of being somebody who's successful, that thought allows you to be somebody who is successful, I think, you know? Yes. Um, it, and it's like, again, it's like a domino effect of good, those good decisions over the course of like 10 years, you know? Um, and it works in the opposite direction too, where if you don't believe those things, or if you don't take those steps, you're going to move towards a path that you don't like as much, you know? Like, um... Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. We figured it out. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess it's like, how do you make your day mostly good? Like, mostly positive, you know? Um... um Wow. Is it about that? I think Each it is. individual day? I mean, I think your day, like, you know, something like Proko doesn't consist of, like, one good decision, you know? No, but I mean, like, you have to have some days that are bad in order to have more good days later. You know, well, That's I, what I'm I, saying. Like, it's not about maximizing each day. I don't think. I mean... I think it is. It depends... Well, no, there's strategy involved here. I think... Well, but, but I, I think that, you know? like, like, not... Like, I'm for sure going to make bad decisions. Like, I'm yeah. not saying I'm perfect at all. Like, I wake up at... I wake up late and eat junk food. You know, it's like... No, but, like, you could... You could say, okay, in order to have the best possible day today, to maximize my current day, and I have absolutely no desire to improve my future days yeah I could just spend all my money yeah right now right to maximize my happiness today yeah right for, for the next and I could do it you could put it all in black and you know for a minute sure that'll like, give me some adrenaline really make me happy really exciting yeah but yeah. obviously my tomorrow is gonna suck yeah right so well I, I, I'm <laughs> you so have I'm, to think about the future but I'm saying I'm saying you need to make mistakes you know you for sure need to make mistakes like um well, you have no choice 
you need failures, but yeah. Um, I, I guess I'm saying it's like you need to be mostly good, but you need to understand where, like, what the what the good decisions are. You know, you need to wake up at noon and eat junk food to realize that if you do that, it's gonna make you feel like shit. You know. Um, oh yeah. It's like it has an effect on your life, and it's tempting, so you go and do it, and then you do it, and it sucks. You know. Um, right. And then you, like, over time, you get a better idea of, like, oh, these micro-decisions that I'm making actually matter to my life, you know? It's like there's compound, you know, compounding interest to the decisions I make. Um, where it's like, uh, I think it's better to draw 15 minutes a day than one day a week drawing for 12 hours straight, you know? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're pretty much just talking about discipline, right? Like- In a sense. I mean, it, it's more of, like, it's beyond just discipline. It's like... Uh, like having I guess thinking about your decisions it's about like loving yourself enough to um, be okay like you know just because you make decisions you don't like doing doesn't mean that you can't stop doing them you know Um, like Um, uh, wait what like like you know let's say for the past 30 years You've been somebody that has not exercised uh-huh. and done nothing but play video games and watch TV, you know? Yeah. It's like, that doesn't mean that tomorrow can be another day like that, you know? It means, like, you have freedom to decide that you can be the person you want to be, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, which takes, like, I think it takes, like, an existential love for yourself, you know? It's like to, it, it's something beyond discipline, right? It's like, I, yeah. I, I read all these books and I see all these people always talking about the hustle and all this stuff, but they're assuming that everyone already has that the, the innate desire to make themselves better, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, I think most people Agreed. treat other people better than they treat themselves. And Most people? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Um, Interesting. Why, why do you think that is? It's, I mean, it's a, you're you. It's like, you can call yourself an idiot and no one will do anything about it. But if you call somebody else an idiot, they will, like... Somebody will fight you on it. You know, somebody will call you an asshole. And it's like, you, like, if you think a bad thought about so yourself. So it's self-preservation? I guess so. I mean, so why are you trying to preserve yourself? Um, but you, 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 you're, you're, you're trying to... I'm trying to figure out... Well, you're trying like, to preserve yourself. I don't know. Because you love yourself? Or... or um, it's just I instinct. Don't I don't know. It's instinct? Like, yeah. It's a rat brain. Um, lizard, lizard brain, monkey brain, <laughs> monkey brain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like, but, 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 but it is stinky. Stank. Yeah. Um, uh, d- don't touch it, by the way. It's super hot. Well, you obviously <laughs> no, you touch it. Yeah. Okay. Has anyone else done that? Uh, I, am I the only one that wants to touch it now? Yes. So far. Am I the only? Actually. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's like, not... put your put your hand. On well, I'm not. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna. Like... It's not that bad. But no, I'm not gonna touch the black part. That's silly. You should touch the black part. No, the black part. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> if you actually put your hand on it for like a quarter, for, of a second, yeah, 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 it's gonna fuck you up. But, um, yeah, but I think it is true that people treat lick other, it. That would fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. Um, but no, really. Wh- like, you think people don't love themselves? I think that's where the all the suffering in the world comes from. Honestly, I mean, it's like, why would you want to hurt somebody else? Like, um, you might not have enough self-respect for yourself. It represent like it. It comes from somewhere, right? Like, um, like why do people deal with jobs they don't like? You know, why do people deal with? managers they don't like why do people do like well, fear fear which is like part of fear is like really like there's something better that you see and you're like oh i can't do that because i don't i'm not good enough or something which is fear right that's not loving yourself like the root of fear is is self-loathing i think i mean um you think not having enough confidence equals not loving yourself i think so absolutely like why else would you not do it right it's like you have this everyone has this ideal in their brain of who they can be right like even if you don't think of it consciously like you 
if, like if you're trying to get better at art, you have a direction you're trying to get to. You have an ideal that like, oh, I'd love to paint like that guy. That that's mm-hmm. my ideal. Or you have like a, a concept art job you really want to get. You know, uh-huh. or an illustration job you really want to get. You're going in a you're going in some direction, right? There is a destination that you have in mind. You know, and it's like, why aren't you? It's like, but there are things standing in your way that that are fear based. You know, which might be like. You might not. You might be thinking, "I can't do that because I'm not good enough." You know, I can't do that because I haven't earned it. I haven't do, you know, like I don't like, deserve it. Yeah, like whatever, right? Yeah. Which is to me, it's all fear-based. You know, yeah. It's all like, okay. you know, if you don't love yourself, you know, how can you expect, you know, any of your ideas to be good? You know, you're you're, you're like more hurdles are gonna be. Well, that's the thing. They probably don't expect them to be. Good. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, it's so. it's like. Yeah, you know, kind of my road trip actually is to like love myself more. You know? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> love myself all the time. Just, just yeah. lock yourself up in a little white, in the, in the sketchy middle, van in the middle of the desert <laughs> and, and love yourself. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh God! I just love to love myself, man. Oh, I thought that was the camera. <laughs> that was the whole point. Right. Oh god. Okay. Um, it's like, can I go and be completely by myself for five months and just like see shit? You know, see like the Grand Canyon and see like everything. Meet tons of people. Like do whatever. Like yeah. surrounded by amazing people, amazing things all the time. You know. Were they all amazing? Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I, I liked everyone I hung out with. You know. Mm-hmm. It's like occasionally there's some like dark moments. Obviously, just being in a Walmart parking lot in the middle of Arkansas is, is not the most pleasant. Thing. What, what's wrong with Arkansas? Um, I don't know. It's just like <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, nothing's wrong with Arkansas. I just don't know anyone there. You know. Okay. It's just lonely. You know. It's a dark parking lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's not as inviting as like being in a house filled with people that are around you. you know? Right. Um, like, but it, it's well. like the idea that you can go out into the world and like if you choose to see that kind of stuff, it's there. It's you know, it's always there. You just need to be able to accept it as something that's true, you know. Like, um, to us right now, if we wanted to go, like, the option to go run a marathon right now is open to us, right? It's like... Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. I'd have to, you know, figure out what I, I'm not doing to do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, but but it's like, you know, but, but, but yeah. you know, drive... Yeah, it's, it's, it's available. Or go to Vancouver you know it's like anything is open to us right um, which is again to me it's been very existentially bizarre acknowledging that like everything is open to you at all times you know and again the thing I realized is that everything is open to you at all times but you can't value all of it you know it's well, hold on I mean it's hard to say that Everything is open to everyone at all times. In, in a se- in an abstract way, right? You know. It's like a, it, like if you're in somewhere in Africa, it's hard to come to the United States. That's just difficult with a visa, right? Yeah. Um, it's harder, right? But it's yeah. like, um, I, I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say is that a lot of it is mindset, you know? Like yes. Okay. Like, mindset. Uh, is obviously, huge. obviously, but there are places in the world where if you go outside, you're going to freeze to death, or you're going to, you know, be shot, or you know, it's yeah. like just less opportunity, you know, whatever. You or, can't just go like the beach is open to us right now, but it's not available to everybody in the world. Yeah, yeah, and we, we like, can't just like go swim five miles because we'll die, you know, we'll drown. Oh you know? well, yeah, yeah, we might. Yeah, um, for sure. You know, but it's like they're we're limited to a certain degree, right? And I'm I'm saying it's like. You know, to the people that actually aren't limited, it's like what stopping them from going and doing these things. You know, it's like the people with resources, the people like us. They live in America. They, you know, have running water, clean food. You know, clean food. You know, they can survive well. You know, uh-huh. it's like what's stopping them from seeing all of those amazing things that they could. You know, like it, um, for me, I, the thing I've been telling people mm-hmm. is like I'd be in the Grand Canyon. No, I oh. Oh, no, go ahead. I'd be in the Grand Canyon by myself. I'd be in the Grand Canyon, one of, like, agreed upon one of the best places in the world, right? Like, most beautiful places. Yeah, beautiful. yeah Like, uh, one of the best places, right? Yeah. And instead of enjoying it 100% of the time, I'd, like, be on my phone watching YouTube videos. And at that point... Yeah, right. YouTube videos. Uh, fine. Okay, fine. You'd be on yeah. your phone loving yourself. 
<laughs> no, I'd, well, I'd be watching Hearthstone videos. <laughs> yeah, I'd be watching Hearthstone. I'd, I'd, I'd be, wa I'd be, I'd be watching Kriparian play Hearthstone. You know, who's that? He is a Hearthstone streamer. But, okay. But it's like instead of, um, <laughs> like, I'd be in one of the best places, and I'd be like just choosing to be by myself, just kind of in, kind of miserable, right? It's not the place, right? Well, wait, hold on. By yourself isn't um, necessarily bad. I, I, I know. I, it was kind of like rest time in a sense, but like. Sometimes it would become too much rest time, you know? Um, and I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, I could be in one of the best places and choose not to see value that. And at that point, it's like, when am I, when am I in the best places and I'm choosing not to see value in it? It's like, um, it's hard to look at San Diego. The reason I'm trying to commit myself to San Diego is because it's hard to look at San Diego and be like, this place sucks. Like, if I say yeah. this place sucks, and every like, what hope do I have? You know, right. seriously, like, <laughs> yeah. like, I should just kill myself. I mean, I shouldn't get that dark. But yeah, it's ahead. like, yeah, okay, fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> is, is, is this still recording or? Is, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, okay. But it, you know, it's like a if you, if you can't see value and like 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 then there's no hope, right? Is, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Probably. Yeah. And I'm saying that about everywhere. It's like no matter where you go, there is. In my experience, being in the places I've been, you know, in the, all over the country, in like most states, pretty much everywhere, right, in the U.S. Um, yeah. It's like I've not, I've never found a place that I've been like this. There's nothing I can find here that is not worth doing, you know. Um. Sure. Um. I mean. There's thousands of things that you could be doing right now that are worth doing. Um, yeah, well, and, and I but, guess it, it's like part of being a person is like your values limit who you are, right? If you if you don't accept what your values are and if you don't know what they are, which is the idea of like getting to know yourself, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to figure out what like what the things are you're supposed to be doing are actually, you know. Um, and you you actually can't do everything, you know. You can't be a brilliant painter and a musician and a Astronaut and speak for yourself. Except you. It's yeah. Stan. I'm an astronaut. Are you? Yeah. Can you? Uh, I'm an astronaut. Ooh. What? Uh, <laughs> a, uh, I. Trying to think of a sex. Why? Because you. It said, wasn't supposed to be. I was saying I'm an ass. Oh, oh. Okay. Got it. Astronaut. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I thought you were. Talking but you. About. Yeah. We can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I can't. I'm not clever enough for another. For, uh, oh. Okay. Uh, Barista. Me, me, yeah, me either. Yeah. Like, I feel like. Yeah, I heard something. Is that a battery thing? Yeah, it's a battery thing. I'm actually, um. I guess what I'm trying to say is like I understand why people don't have hope. You know. You understand why people don't have hope? Yeah, like well, I meet some people sometimes who are actually they don't have any hope at all. Like. For themselves and their own lives, you know, like what they're themselves Did creatively. shit happen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and I, it's like, okay. Some people know. are very unlucky. Some yeah. shit just happens that, like, you know, messes with their brain. Um, it, it gives them a, a, a point of view on the world that's very pessimistic. Well, and I, I guess, which is like, fair. I, but I think everyone yeah. has shit happen to them. Yeah, but some things yeah, have yeah, yeah. really shitty things that happen. <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess it's like the shitty part about all this stuff is like you have to take responsibility for your life no matter what happens. You know? True. Even if you're born addicted to heroin and you know parents die, you know it's like you still have to like work out. You still have to like eat well. You still have to like. Says who? I don't know, like the underlying like, like the thing we were talking about earlier. It's like you know. Um, you, there are shitty things. There are wrong decisions, you know. Um, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. But do, do, you, do you think there are wrong decisions? Well, based on what your goal is. Yeah. But if you're someone who doesn't have any goals, there's no wrong decision. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, it's complicated. I mean, yeah. Like, I, it, I want to be healthy, yeah. and I want to have a happy family yeah. you know yeah like you know typical things I want that stuff yeah. and so eating donuts for breakfast is the wrong decision for me yeah. if I want to achieve that stuff right but if I want to be unhealthy 
yeah. and be depressed. <laughs> well, and people want <laughs> it's not that. the wrong decision. I think people do want that to a degree. Like it does happen, you know. Yeah. Um, like, I think I think the shitty part about all this stuff is sometimes that kind of stuff happens, and people want to, like, they want to hurt themselves. They want to hurt other people. You know, mm-hmm. it's sad. It sucks. You know, but it's like the Columbine shooters did that for a reason. You know, right? It's like it doesn't come from nothing. Um, yeah, and it comes I, from bad things that happen to them. Yeah, well, and I think it, it's like, um, I guess what I'm saying is like, you know, obviously there are people in the extremes where nothing but bad things happen to them, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry for that. I can't, you know, it's your not, fault. It isn't. Well, it, there's it's not much. I, there's not much I can do about it. Well, you could have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, well, you should give away all your money to, <laughs> you know, to, you know charity. No, and, I love myself. Yeah, exactly. There you, you go. You told me to love myself. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna give it to me. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Buy Cooper a cool shirt. <laughs> the, yeah, a t-shirt. Yeah. That's what he's gonna get. Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. A really nice shirt. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I guess I'm talking about like in the for people like us who have, you know, like you know. Like, again, you're not immune to shitty stuff happening to you. It's, like, obviously not. Like, everyone is susceptible to... Yeah, of course. You know, people dying, sickness, whatever. Yeah. You know, stub your toe. Like, um, it's, like... Right. But how do you... Well, like, how do you how do you handle that emotionally? It's, like... Brush my teeth in the morning. Um, I, I guess it's, like... Um, I think there is... It, like, life isn't fair inherently. Like, people are born with more. People have better circumstances but um i really believe that there is uh like part of the reason you're so successful is because your goals are aligned to live your life like you do actually love yourself you know um okay like the things you do all like it's um all in service of a greater goal other than just like you know eating like you're, you're not trying to make yourself unhealthy you know right um, you're not trying to hurt other people, you know? And I think as a result, it, like, has compounding effects on just improving your life, you know? Have you figured out, like, does your audience have this issue? I do. I mean... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I don't care about you. No, no I, 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 I mean, I do to an extent, but I think I, I think everyone struggles with that stuff. It's like, why, why do we look for advice from anyone, you know? It's like looking for an answer. It's like, what's the point of all this stuff? Like, what's the point of drawing? Like... Drawing's hard. Like, why draw and why not eat Twinkies, you know? It's like... Because you like drawing. Um, do you like drawing? I do like drawing. Then draw. Yeah, I do draw. Do, then do it. I, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Stop, okay, stop sure. not doing it. But, um... Yeah. No, but I, I feel like that's, on average, based on, like, critiquing on Proco or just, like, talking to tons and tons of art students. Like, uh-huh. everyone... Like, that's way more the average of the problem rather than like people not knowing how to draw heads like that's not like as big of a problem as like being existentially fulfilled you know like how do you deal with your parents dying you know well that's that's not what Proko's for yeah I I think that would be that might be a mistake to go on Proko to to deal with your you know the death of your parents well I I, that's kind of a risky thing to do I think to talk to a bunch of people who have no idea how to help someone whose parents just died. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I know anything about that, but I think it's... Yeah. Uh, I think it's... Well, um, I guess what I'm saying is, um, like, if you can figure out the why to your life, the how becomes really easy, you know? It's like all the suffering... Does uh, it? I think so. I mean, like, uh, if you can figure out the why to running a marathon, like, running a marathon is really hard. It's like... But people do it all the time. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I know the why of some things, but then doing it is still really hard. It's still hard, but it, it you still like you still choose to do it. It's like sure, but that's not what you said. And, uh, no, but it, but it becomes it becomes an easy decision. It's like mm. you know, mm. it's I like, don't know, not really. It, um, I know I need to exercise every day. Yeah, but it's really difficult to do that. Um, N- understanding it and knowing it doesn't. Do you want to start exercising? Do you want to, well, like... Yeah, uh, of course I... Do you want to go for really runs? Start. Do you want to go runs in... <laughs> did, did you want to run in the morning? Do you no, do no, I don't want to run in the morning. Okay, never mind. I, I don't... Yeah. I don't have good enough knees to run. Do you want to oh. ride bikes in the morning? Not really. I want to swim more. Okay, fine. Whatever. Never mind. 
think of something right now. But I, I, I mean, I think riding a bike is cool. Yeah. But no, my point is that understanding that something's good doesn't make it easy to do. Um, I think that's the first step to making it like. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, it's still um, really hard. And it's easy. It might be easy for like a week or two. It's a domino effect. I think it's like, I think if you. Um, <laughs> make time for you to like if you make time if you made time every day for you to go swimming and just set aside swallows you know it's in the calendar um but you think about it yeah so, so it's like okay that decision's a little bit like you're slowly trying to convince yourself to do it right well um there's more that needs to happen for me to actually yeah, do it right there there's there are there's friction that keeping me from making that decision it's not as easy as just setting time yeah it really isn't. The, right. the, you have to remove all friction. Yeah. Um, um, in in order to make it a habit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and I think that that's um, has a lot to do with your values too. It's like, you know, that friction that's being caused that's causing you not to swim might be caused by just tons of meetings or tons of other work. Right. You know. So that's that's a, you know, where your values are fundamentally, right? It's like if your values... Or just like a decision I made that caused, you know, a domino effect and now I have some responsibilities that are keeping me from yeah, yeah, doing but, that. But you, you know? made that decision because yeah, I, of the I, values, right? It's like, yes. Um, and it's like, it's not, it wasn't necessarily a bad decision. It wasn't it a was bad decision. It was in line with like, fuck you, fear. But I'm going to do this. I, and then I, I did it and now it's like, oh, okay, I gotta keep doing it. I, I, but now I don't have time to do these other things other consequences yeah well I think it's like you gotta sacrifice like um, things all the you know you, you make one decision that's good for this but then it, it might be bad for something else yeah yeah well I think that's part of being a person is you can't like no matter what you do it's like if you put more time in exercise you'd be thinking like oh man I wish I could do more I could work be, yeah. well, I'm with my son right now yeah yeah my right. daughter right yeah, now, it, it, it's could... like you're, you're limited right? it's like no matter what you do as a person you're gonna make a mistake that's the idea of like original sin in the bible like just because, like, if you're working more, that means you're not spending time with your kids. If you're spending time with your kids, that means you're not exercising and working more, you know? It's yeah. Like, you're always making a mistake, you know? You're right. always, like, it's just the degree of which mistake you're making, you know, changes depending on what you value as a person, you know, mm-hmm. at least I think. And, right. Um, like, right now, you're valuing, I, I think so, like, objectively, like, you're valuing your work <laughs> over your health, right? which is going to have long-term consequences, you know? And I think that, like, like somebody's life becoming a disaster is not necessarily a single decision that ruins it. It's like a compounding error over the course of 30 years. That, yeah. Like, if you don't exercise for the next 30 years, that's definitely a mistake, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's like, but you willingly did that, right? No, um, not yet. But I, I mean, but you, yeah, but, but you've been doing it so far, right? It's like, no, I mean, not like I haven't exercised in the past ten years. I, I know I, you used to. I yeah. yeah, I was exercising. I mean, COVID kind of fucked it up. Yeah. Um. No. Kind of. Yeah. No, and then I got into it again, and then and then I fucked it up. But no, like I know what I know what I need to do to bring it to do it again, and then, yeah. and I'm on the path of doing that. Yeah, and I'm confident you'll get there. Yeah, and it's. Uh, like, and it's okay for you not to be exactly who you are or who you want to be right now. Like, can't be all the time. You know? Well, never will be. Um, yeah, and I think that's part of, like, loving yourself again. It's like, accepting that you're never, never going, you'll yeah. never be, like, perfect. Bu- this buff, perfect Stan Prokopenko. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, again, I think everyone has this ideal in their brain. And, Sometimes. Of a buff, of a buff perk up yeah, 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 Exactly. It's like, oh, I want to be. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Every That's human. the ideal in everyone's brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Russian. I, I like your beach shirt. Ukrainian. Yeah. Beach shirt. It's Shroot Farms, bro. Uh, I've never seen The Office. Why? I just I like Parks and Rec more. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You make well, so many bad decisions in your life. I make plenty of bad decisions. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure the van was a good decision, but to a degree it's a bad decision. Like, this is your belief. Yeah. Just so, like you believe that it's a good decision to like Parks and Recs more than The Office. I can't help it. Yeah. It's just a better Do you shot. actually believe that? I do. You Like, you actually... I, I actually like it more. 
But you haven't seen The Office. I've seen a couple episodes, and I'm like, this is lame. <laughs> this is stupid. This no, you is can't. Lame. You yeah. can't do that. Um, I've seen a couple episodes. It's. I don't know. Come on. I, at what point do I like? You know, I've seen clips from it. I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. But Parks and Rec. It's better. It's a show with like nine or ten seasons. You, you can't watch a few episodes and judge the whole thing. No, you can't. No, you can't. I don't know. I just. I, I, no. Which episodes? I don't even remember. Like the last two? No. <laughs> are, 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 are they notoriously bad or something? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, they're 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 much worse. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Like, but. Um, I mean, I remember Sean was like, I'm only, I've seen one episode of The Office. I don't really like it. I was like, which one? He's like, the, the one where they where they get married. <laughs> that was like one of the last ones, yeah, right? Yeah, right? I was like, are you kidding me? Like, no. that was, it was like, they're just ending it. Like, and, yeah. and it really was a bad episode. Yeah. Right. It, was, it was like, I don't like it either. Yeah. And and then he, eventually he gave it, and he actually started watching yeah. it with his wife. Yeah, I've been told and to they watch like it, it, but... I, I, there are other shows, other ways of spending my time that I would rather do than watch The Office. Sure, okay. But, like what, like watch another show? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Man. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you you you're making that decision because people tell you you should watch The Office, <laughs> and yeah. you're just yes. like, oh, yeah. well, since yeah. you're telling me to do it, I'm not going to exactly. do it. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. All right. right. Well, you shouldn't watch The Office then. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go watch it. No, don't. Okay. Don't watch it. Okay. I don't want you. You don't deserve it. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. You don't play know. play Oblivion. Or something. <laughs> okay. Play video games. Yeah. You, do you still play a lot of video games? I, I've been I, since I gotten back. I've been trying to relax more. Like, I've been. I've but been, what are you doing? What? You you said trying, but what, are you still play a lot of video games? I play. I, I try. Like I play for. Try, like, what are you doing? Are you playing I'm, a lot of video games? A game? little bit. I play <laughs> like thirty or forty minutes occasionally. You know. Every like, hour. Every few, yeah, every hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I have the you know like a fourth of the day. I'm just playing video games. <laughs> nice. But I found out I don't like video games near, nearly as much as I used to. It's like weird. You I mean, don't it, like it as much? Yeah, I just don't get as nearly as well, much. Well, it's enjoyment. probably more boring now because yeah, it's, it's like, the same old. Well, it, it that and it's just like. Uh, I don't know. I feel like my, like what I like doing has become way different. What is that? It's going outside, you know. It's like oh, okay. driving around. Like I can go to the redwoods, or I can sit around and play a video game. You know, right. It, it's like the idea again. It's like I realize that th- more things are open to me than just playing a video game. You know. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, wow, yeah. I can, like, That's good. Did but, Did you go hiking or yeah. or camping as a kid? Yeah. So you knew this was available. To I, I guess you, but it, you didn't appreciate it as a kid. You didn't I, I did enjoy it, it in Boy Scouts, and I guess like oh, yeah. um, you were a Boy Scout. I was a Boy Scout. Yeah. I feel like it's <laughs> you're trying to think you of saying something weird, but <laughs> some, some kind of sexual joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know why. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Still, you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, how how long did you do Boy Scouts? Five to. Four to five years. Oh wow! Yeah, so oh, you really did it. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Um, did you like it? I I liked it. I just um, I, at a certain was point, it actually enjoyable as a kid? I didn't do Boy Scouts. No, what, I, no, it, it was, like, they just forced you to do stuff, and you just it was like walk. camping, but with like, you know, people telling you exactly what to do. Like, there's a schedule. Like, right. It's like oh, this is lame. Like, oh, that just goes against your personality. Yeah, though. I just want to like jump into a river by myself. And, yep. Yeah. <sighs> That's and then, yeah. You yeah. so you yeah Boy Scouts is the wrong thing for you. The, the right thing for you to would have been to like go just go camping with your family all the time. Yeah. yeah. Where I was like we just do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. 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 But my family doesn't camp, so. It's yeah. Not. But. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I love that stuff. It's super fun. And, um, it's for, it's cheap too. I don't know. It's like a. Um, so something another thing I realize is you need very little generally to be content. Like it's way more about the people that you're around than the. I guess the context context of the money, you know, mm-hmm. it's like money to me. I really believe it has a lot of diminishing returns on how much it helps. Of course, yeah, you know? um, yeah. It, and and so what? I, I guess the part of the hypothesis I have is like if it's true that the only thing that is limiting you when you're in a place is your ability to see meaning, mm-hmm. you know, like money can be a thing that actually clouds your ability to see cool things because you're able to just like do what you always do because you have money you know 
It's like when it stops being a tool and it becomes like a crutch to just like live your life, that's when it becomes kind of addicting to earn tons of money, I think, you know, for, for, for the wrong reasons at least. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, again, it's, um, we, we have bodies that can, that allow us to go and do a lot of things and, um, mm-hmm. like, you, like I, I would say most people, at least most people probably listening to this podcast have enough, like, vision in their own lives to go out and, and like, go and find really meaningful lives. They don't need to have a ton of subscribers on YouTube or tons of followers or, you know, like whatever, you know, or working for a specific company, you know. Um, I think um, the habit of constantly prioritizing things throughout the day is really meaningful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, constantly throughout the day. Yeah. Otherwise, you're, you're just going to do the thing that your brain decides for you that is, like, the most pleasurable at the yeah, moment. Impulsive, right? Yeah. Well, it's, I, like, the easiest sometimes, or a lot of the time. It's what's the easy thing right now. Yeah, um, well, and, and I, I think success, like, I, like long-term meaningful success is a result of, like, the correct, prior, like, prioritizing the correct things. Right. Of, and you get better at it as you yeah, yeah. go. Because you're like, oh, I prioritized this this year, and that really... Paid off. Yeah. Yeah, or it yeah. didn't. Yeah, it's like, oh, shit. I'm going to stop prioritizing that stuff. Um... um yeah. Well, and like uh, I, I went to a mosque a while ago, and I was really I'm, I'm really curious about religion, you know. Okay. Like, as I'm just the wrong like, person. To no, but I, I guess about that. I was I was talking to a, <laughs> I was talking to the imam or I can't, my mom. No, a, a, the a imam. I think that's oh. the, the the leader <laughs> of, the, the leader of a of a mosque. Okay. I, I, See, I think I'm the that, wrong person. <laughs> I, I, I think that's what it is. Um, I was talking to them, and they were saying like the point of praying five times a day in that correct spot. It's not cause it's not like you're talking to Allah or God or anything. Mm-hmm. It's that you're like setting your intentions five times right. a day, and if you're doing that, it's going to have like you know that's the point of it. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, it's yeah. it's you're talking to yourself and you're it's the inner dialogue. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, and to me, that's like the utility of like religion. It's you're like, thinking. Yeah. You're. Well, you're, it, you're, it, you're. Um. Paying attention to your thinking. I think. Yes. There. There you like go. Thinking about thinking. You know. <laughs> um, you're evaluating the situation. Right. Crunching numbers. Right. Boop, boop. Yeah. yeah. When you're trying to think of it, like, oh, am I doing well? No. I'm going to do this. Oh, am I doing good? Great. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that how it goes? Yeah. Sick. yeah. Awesome. Oh, nice. All right. Sick. Let's oh, do it. Dang it. <laughs> but I, I think that's the way it's supposed to go. It's like... Every sentence is one or two words. Oh, dang. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I, I think that, that that's the real path to success to me. It's like, it's not, you know, it, again, it's not necessarily like rewards driven um pursuit of success it's like that kind of success where you're just constantly like able to look at yourself objectively and be like oh i'm doing this wrong i'm doing this right you know Mm -hmm. even if you're in a really rough mind space to be able to step outside yourself and be like oh i'm kind of bummed out right now i'm not going to make any rash decisions i'm just going to like you know that's important too you know um and yeah, I, I think the ability to do that is incredibly powerful. Um, like it, it's a very Buddhist thing to do. Yeah, know? and therapy as well. I think is also that's the point of it. You know. Yeah. Um, drawing. I think art school also provides that kind of uh, structure for people. You know. Yeah. It's like for me going to Watts was like I don't I, I learned a lot there, but I think the more the utility of going to a place like Watts is just having a guy like Jeff around just to be like oh okay. Like I have a, I have a thing to compare myself to, or I have a thing to be like, like a thing to strive for almost, Yeah. you know, or a thing to like correct me if I'm on the wrong path, you know? Yeah. Um, right. Like at a very specific yeah. goal. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and if you can cultivate that in your life, it's like, you know, 1% better, it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're 1% better every day over the course of three years, you're, <laughs> well, yeah. you know, well, over the course of a year, you know, you're. Well, that's we're, impossible. Well, but the, I don't know. It's like it's not possible. It, it is. One percent better is a lot. Um. Every day, one percent better. 
you've gotten one way more than one percent better in certain aspects of your life than no, but consistently increasing one percent better every day. I well, it, I guess like eventually you hit your human limit. Yeah, I guess so. But I guess if you're, I guess what I'm saying is if you strive for small amounts of, um, you know, to like. Um, yeah. Improvement every day, it's going to compound into being just this massive thing at the end of a year. Right. Um, yeah. It's like, like you know, what if you, you know, went for a ten minute run every day? You know, it's like, like what could you do at the end of the year? It's like, yeah, probably run a lot further than you normally could. Yeah. You know, probably. <laughs> That's good. Cool. <laughs> Neat. You know, it's like better than not doing that. You know. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I think I think a lot of this is common sense for people, right? Okay, no. I mean, it, the the it, hard it, part it, isn't knowing it. Um, That's what I was trying to say before. I was like, I think people know this. They, I think they do too, but I think it's also like I think it's important to be reminded of it. Like, I think yeah. the rules to being simple to life are very simple. You know, it's like, you know, it's it's easy to say just exercise every day. You know, but it's, right. You know, unless exactly, you, unless you have. Like we are monkeys, we are comparative creatures. Like, I think unless you have, what do you have against monkeys? Nothing. Do you have something against monkeys? Oh, I love monkeys. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite monkey? Uh, Diddy Kong. Uh, I was I was talking about species, right? <laughs> okay, is, is that the only famous monkey? <laughs> it's not even a monkey, right? Uh, uh, Diddy Kong. I think he yeah, he is a monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Um, my favorite monkey. Uh, you mean like oh species? Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't even know species of monkeys. Yeah, 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 no, I probably wouldn't be able to give you the name, but I could, I could describe one. Yeah. Um, I, I do like so at the San Diego Zoo when you first enter the, um, the monkey area, it's the first one. They're like, I, okay, I really don't know the name of it, but it's like th- these, the really long legs, really long uh, tails, yeah, and. They're kind of small, right? But then their arms are like huge, huge, right? And they just like they like jumping at the wall and just like yeah, yeah. when someone's yeah. looking like close to yeah. the glass, they're just yeah. like yeah, fuck you. It's really funny. Yeah, yeah those yeah. are cool. Those are neat. Yeah, yeah. those are pretty cool. Yeah, I also like the ones with the butts. Yeah, the uh, uh, baboons. Well, the, I mean, it's not just them, but the, yeah. there's little monkeys that have like they're kind of little weird butts too. Nice, and monkeys with like weird weird noses and stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know the names of them. Planet's weird, man. The planet is weird. Yeah, just reality. Why is it weird? weird. Everything's so uh, weird to you. Everything is. I get it's weird, it's right? Not, it's no. No, but it's it doesn't. Like, it's not weird. It's pretty cool. It. I mean, it's cool, but it's like it's cool. It's like fucking weird. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> fucking cool. No, but it's it's fucking weird. <laughs> Why are you like it's like? They're are you just weirded over. out at every? It, yeah, it's that's like, cool. But it's like, are you weirded out by everything you see? Like, is this yeah, a weird tree? It's straight. It's like. I what? I couldn't Why? even begin I don't to explain like how this got here, right? It's like there's so many th- again. It's, it's, it's does like, it make it weird? It's like acknowledging that there's so many things beyond me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That are billions of years, like took to just put that tree there. It's like yeah, what? that's amazing. It's amazing, but it's not weird. It's like, it, but it's like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so you're about to explode. <laughs> it's like what the heck? Jeez! Wow. It's like this van. It's like, how does this van get here? You know? <laughs> what the fuck? You built it. You yeah, like, yeah. like, you I bought did it. it. Yeah. How did it get here? Where am I? Yeah, but this who, is not who, my who, life. Who, 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 who like built built the van? You know? Who oh who designed it? It's like, well, what kind, what is what's the brand? What's the manufacturer? Uh, Forty one fifty. Ford. Okay, well, you know, you can take a guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like, uh, but it's like. I, I'll never meet them. I don't actually know who they no. are. Somebody actually, some another human being, just like us, like shaped this metal and put it in place, right? Uh, it's probably a robot. Yeah, but but somebody built the robot. You, you know, again, it's like oh. a, human decisions. Yeah, you know, like designed this entire. Yes. Yeah, it's like what the heck? That's so weird. Like, yeah, so bizarre. And it's like it, the fact that this can exist. Like, I wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even begin to explain to me how this fucking got here you know how to make a piece of metal in this exact shape yeah but I don't it think it's weird years. at all no, but, I, I but feel it's like, like yeah 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 someone did that that's pretty cool like it's pretty awesome they, yeah, they right. like it's a shape and yeah. it, it's a shape that fits into another shape it's and it's like uh, it, it's, it doesn't seem that weird to me like that someone could no, but, do that but it's like <laughs> I, no, but, but it's like everything else that like came like somebody had to mine the metal right or, like mine the ore that was turned into metal that was like I think you know 
yeah. eventually used and this was made into a work van that somebody used to somebody uses to like transport produce for a long time yeah and now I'm like we're sitting here recording a podcast yeah you know that's and pretty it's cool like, it's, it's amazing right and it's like <laughs> yeah. and we get to just sit around and like think about making art videos it's like oh that's not all I do well, but do, 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 <laughs> but you, you, like thinking about art like we just sit at computers and we're like Oh, that'd yeah, be cool. all I do is I just oh, sit so around it. thinking about. <laughs> yeah. I, I think about making. <laughs> yeah, you don't actually do it. No, I don't. No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you did at one point. Yeah, right? you yeah, yeah. But but it's like, oh man, that's so cool. It's so weird, you know. They're like in a circus over there. Oh, cool. But, oh, good for them. Yeah. I wonder if they could see. No. Okay. No. No. Are they too? T- they're like ants. Uh, not well. Yeah, it's not wide angle enough. I don't think. Oh really? It, the the. Oh, okay. Well, um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like... Oh, are you getting that? Wait, no. don't turn it off. Look, there's a dog pooping. Oh, shit. No, don't turn it off. I'm trying to... I think it's either... The Can you zoom in? Oh, it's, you missed it. The dog just took a shit right there. No. Oh, I think it's probably... Was it off during... No, 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 no. You can't see it. It's like... It's not too bright, is it? No, no, it's not. It's It's... Like not like. quite an angle. <laughs> Maybe we can check later. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had that before? A dog just oh, yeah, comes yeah. and I, shits in the background. Absolutely. A guy came up and uh, like I was recording with TJ. Yeah. And a guy just like walked up to us and asked us about parking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 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 and he's in the podcast. <laughs> like. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool. Yeah. Did you help him? Yeah. Yeah. We talked with him for like a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you ask him why he creates art? No, no. <laughs> well, well, who's God? You know? yeah, did you ask him if he loves himself? No, no. no? I, I should have. You should have. I could track him down. The next person that walks by, you need to ask them if they love themselves. I should. That's like the weirdest thing you could ask. <laughs> Especially someone. in this van too. Hey, you <laughs> love. <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh, come oh, on, God. man! Hey, you love yourself? No, I love myself. I don't know. I, I think, I mean, the corny side of me is, like, the world is so incredibly beautiful that I can't, like, it's, like, amazing, you know? Okay. It's, like, mind-blowing. Yeah, that There's, is corny. But it's, it's like, there, it's, like, a cliche of, like, yeah, holy it's sh-. old. You know, and I feel like I'm actually believing that for the first time. Like, you hear that, you hear people say it, and you're like, oh, fuck you, you know? And you go, fuck you, no, it's not. Yeah, but seriously, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, you're right. right. Yeah, it's like, mm. wow, there's so mm. much stuff, you know? It's like, yeah, um, there is. Where do we go from here? I don't know. What do you What do you want from me? Uh, uh, what's the meaning of life? No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I appreciate you talking in this way because it's like, again, I think part of appreciating. Oh, do you have to get going? Uh, Twenty five minutes. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Uh, Part of appreciating all this stuff, part of being able to like see that kind of meaning in the world is like, I think living in a certain way, which I think you've achieved. Honestly, it's like, you know, and not perfectly. I'm closer there to it, I'm closer. Than like you're close, you're yeah. closer to it than other people that I have met. You know, and it's not. I a was race. always closer to it than other people, and farther, you yeah, know, farther away people. than other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. further away. Like, than it, people, it doesn't so. matter yeah, at the same time. Like, so. But I'm the, no. The point is, I. The important thing is that I'm closer to it than I I was before. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, and it's like oh, and I'm I'm adopting that process for my life as well. And it's like the thing I'm learning is like it doesn't like. Oh, my wife is calling. Okay. Hello. Yo. I got a date tonight. Nice. Sick. Congrats. Thanks. Sick. I'm not going to say anything. I want you to say the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, all right, cool. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Just head back. Well, how do you end these? Uh, I'm really, I mean, I ask people if, uh, how should they follow you, you know? And then uh, eventually they just end. They just kind of okay. fire out and... You know, uh, well, do you do, do you, a wrap up or sh- unless you have ew. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, unless you have another question for me? I don't think so. I think we, we covered plenty. So yeah, okay. Yeah, sick. Cool. Well, I appreciate you doing this. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate you doing this too. Cool. Uh, yeah. How should people I'm follow? Surprised you? you're still doing this. Really? Yeah, I thought you would give up a lot earlier. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, you totally did. <laughs> huh? You totally did. Think that you'd end earlier? Yeah. 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 You did a lot. How many? How many? This is the 28th, 29th. I've done it. This might be like the almost like the 30th. That's that's the same as 28th or 29th. I, I know. I know. But I'm I'm <laughs> rounding up. You're yeah. just you're, well. Almost the 30th yeah. is the 28th. Or <laughs> the 29th. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just trying to say the same yeah, thing yeah, and okay. correct me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, uh, well, part of the reason I've been able to commit myself to it is because I drove across the country to do it, and now I can't stop doing it because it'd be lame to not keep doing it. No. Oh, yeah, that's stupid. It's not about driving. Yeah. Right? Well, what, I mean, part of it was the adventure, and now it's like I got the momentum built. You, the adventure is not just about driving. I know, but it's adventure like... Adventure is about where your mind goes. Yeah, going on, and the act of doing something really hard. It's like... Oh. A uh, mental adventure. Yeah, a mental adventure. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you, hard. You, it was you, difficult for me to do that, like uh, uh, to go on a mental adventure. No, to, I mean to drive to New York and back. It's oh, like, yeah, like yeah. a difficult thing to do. Like, right. So, what's your next adventure? Um, trying to live a more stable life. It's like <laughs> oh, so crazy. It is crazy to me. It's like I get I get more anxiety about uh, like living yeah. in an apartment than I do living in a van. It's not. Uh, it's true. Yeah. It's like it's weird, man. Um. Uh, you're I, a weird person. I think I have a bike trip planned. Yeah. See, the, the world is cool, but you're weird. I am weird. That sure. that, that makes no sense. Yeah. What? You 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 get more anxiety from living in, in an apartment than a van. Um, I think because like you don't I, think that's strange. It's 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 not strange when you think about it. It's like I I've been doing <laughs> like I like everything I get from living in a van. You know, it's like I like I tied part of my identity to it. I tied the adventure to it I've tied my day to day to it and I know what it's like right I don't know necessarily what it's like to live in an apartment in that way you know you've never lived in an apartment I, I have I, I have but like a more conventional like you know have friends go to you know parties like mm. I, I have done that before and I haven't enjoyed it as much and now you're living in an apartment by yourself I'll live with Charlie actually you live with Charlie no I'm gonna live with Charlie oh you're gonna live with Charlie yeah, yeah. oh cool yeah. Are you moving in with him? Yeah. Or is he moving in with you? Oh, we're going to get an apartment together. We're gonna oh. Like, look, look for one. I knew it. Yeah. Do you remember when um, when Prooker was was seven people? Yeah. And five out of the seven people had a baby. Yeah. In the same year. Yeah. So yeah, and then the two that didn't were you and Charlie. Yeah. And then we were predicting that you and Charlie would have a baby together. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the beginning yeah, of it. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should. You should start with a dog, though. Yeah. Are you and Charlie going to get a little puppy? Um, I'm not gay, by the way, for anyone listening. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But, uh, I, I mean, you guys could still get a puppy. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like responsibility. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. That's true. But, Oof. That might um, be tough. Yeah. That might be tough for you. Maybe. But I mean, nobody likes responsibility. I think people just, you know, underst- the understand. Yeah. Like you're saying, you you have to make difficult decisions to love yourself. So, like... It, it sucks to change a, a diaper, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's worth... It lasts, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, but it's worth it to have a kid. You get really good at it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, it sucks to wipe my own ass, too. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, I've never tried. So. You've never tried to wipe your own ass? <laughs> no, to wipe your ass. No, it sucks to wipe your own ass. I know. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But you got really good at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same with a diaper. No. Yeah. Uh, except a little worse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess when it comes to this stuff, like, it, I think there are fundamental truths, but it helps to, like, see people that are also living those truths, you know? It's like to see you also struggling with stuff is also important just for people to like, you know, you're not a god, you know, you're not like. I think people know this. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like. Yeah. Your, your, your life is not suddenly easy at, at a certain point. No, know? it there's just new problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah and again, it's, it's, it's um, again, talking about this stuff keeps the reminder that, oh, I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right yeah. you know, for people that might be listening. Yeah, I, ideally you just get better at solving problems. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. yeah. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Well, cool, man. Well, wrap, thank you. I, I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, 
Okay, we'll cut it there then. Okay. Sick. You didn't ask where people can follow me. Thanks, oh, man. Where, where can people follow you? Wow. Uh, you 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 need it. Okay, so, yeah. Um. Um. Proko. Com. You Com. Can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh. Where else? Uh, no, not Facebook. I actually don't go on Facebook, but my team does. But YouTube. You, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. YouTube channel. <laughs> That's uh, Drossman. Proko ending. TV. Drossman has ended. Yeah. Is, this, are you gonna keep posting to the YouTube channel or? Is the Draftsman YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna post clips this episode. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. This is the next thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sketchy the Man, Sketchy Man <laughs> podcast. The Sketchy Man Draftsman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Sick. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, man. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. See ya. Cool. I think we should do the fist bump again. Just the. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe something happens. I don't know. Maybe you like fall from hyperthermia. <laughs> <laughs>